guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So we are going on holiday today. So we are like fully packed, ready to go. And I just wanted to show you guys what I have packed in the boys carry on luggage. Now I've seen quite a few videos like this and I really like them. I've got loads of inspiration from people and I just thought that if I like them, maybe some other people out there will like them too. So I thought I'd film one of my own. So I have got two carry on luggages, one for Rory, one for Jamie. This one's bigger, but they both have exactly the same in it. We've just got one bag that's slightly bigger than the other. So I'm going to show you what's in Rory's carry-on luggage and literally, like I said, exactly the same things are in Jamie's luggage. So yeah, I thought I'd just go through it, show you what's in there, give you some ideas of what you can pack for kids on long-haul flights and um, hopefully it will make you think what a good idea. So let's get going. So this bag is literally just like a backpack and it's got one big compartment at the front and then it's also got a little side compartment where he likes to put all his little like sneaky goodies like sweets and things like that. So I will go through it starting with the big compartment and then we'll go to his sneaky section. Right, so first I thought I'd start off actually with this little neck pillow, that's what it's called. This is just from the pound shop. The reason I got one of these was because we are having a night flight, so I thought this would be really great for them if they want to have a little sleep. And um, it comes with this little carabiner as well, which is brilliant, because it means you don't have to take up any space inside the bag. It just clips on to any kind of like zip, that's it, or like I've done, I've just done it on like the strap part of the backpack. So if you look in the pound shop, in the kids section they have these as well, but they do not have the carabiner on there. And if you go around to like the travel section where the adults ones are, that is where you will find these ones. So don't get sucked in to buy the kids ones or else you'll have to pack them inside the bag and take up valuable space. Right, moving on to the inside of his bag, we have got a moon ball, this is a really cool ball. It floats on water and it bounces really high. So we wanted to take this away with him. I mean, this is obviously not for the airplane. <laughs> this is more when we get there, but he wouldn't let me put it in the main luggage. It had to go in his carry-on bag. So that's what we've got there, a moon ball. We've got his bubba. They've actually got two of these each, but when we go away, we only take one. In case something happens to it, we know we have a backup one back at home. We have got a reading book. This is actually Birthday Boy by David Baddiel. If you guys have watched my favorites video the other day, you'll see that this is what we're reading at the moment. So um, I wanted to take it with us so that we can take them out the sun in the afternoon, have a bit of a break, have a bit of reading time together, and he can also practice his reading while we are away. When I spoke to his school, because they are having actually a few days out of school, we've been granted leave because of Chris's job, they said, could he write a diary when he's away? So do like three little sentences every single day. So what we did is we got him this notepad, which is also from the pound shop. Basically everything we've got is from the pound shop. So yeah, we've got this little notepad and a pen. So I'm just trying to find it, here it is. It's one of these pens that's got like a green, blue, red and black biro in it. And I thought that'd be really great because it's like four pens in one, which is really space saving. So that's his diary equipment. We have also got an iPad. So I'm not like massively into iPads with the boys, but I thought as we're going on a flight, it would be good to download some movies and they are on here already so we can just watch them. Oh, and we do have this like double adapter thing. So you can put this adapter into the iPad and then two earphones can come out so they can both have an earphone in, in each of their ears. So, um, but that is in Chris's luggage. Yeah, so to go with that, we have got these really cool earphones. They're from Puro, the Sound Lab. They're actually designed for kids. So the decibels aren't too high and they're really like safe for their ears. I'll show you what they're like, but if you can see, it's a really thin little packaging. So it's brilliant to take away with you. So if you open it up, this is how the earphones come. You've got, they are wireless, but they do come with some cords as well. They're like adjustable, so they fit me. So when these are on, if you are sitting next to the person with them on, you can't hear that they are listening to anything. They are absolutely brilliant. And the sound quality is so good on them. They've got like a little volume adjusting bit there. And 
little Bluetooth symbol there and also an on off switch as well. This band up here is soft and squidgy so they are really comfortable when they are on. Right, so next I bought them this little like coloring set pack thing from the pound shop again. You get some coloring pencils, you get a dot to dot book, you get an activity book and a coloring book. When the boys saw this, they were so excited, especially Rory because he loves a dot to dot. So yeah, I just bought them each one of these and when they come home, if they've done it all, we can just leave it out there or if they haven't finished it, maybe we can leave a couple of books out there and just come back to the ones that they haven't done yet. Right, so now we're gonna move on to his sneaky compartment. In here we have got sweets, well, munchies, so chocolate and sweets. So these are our like treats on the flight. We will be getting food obviously on the flight, but this is just like a bit of a treat when they've been good for a while. I use this for bribery a lot of the time. So maybe I'll say to them, look, if you're really good, every time the clock gets to like a half past, you can have two. Um, like one of those and one of those or two of those and two of those so that is my bribery that is a top tip I would give you guys because this works really well with my kids they are always very good on the flight just so they can make sure they get their two sweets each right so Rory wanted to bring some Lego there are two sets in here that actually make like a full Lego car and he put them in this Ikea bag it's a Ziploc bag so it's really secure and he said if they break it doesn't really matter because all the pieces will be in here and then he will just remake it whenever he wants to. So sometimes they'll play that on the plane, other times it'll just be kind of like for around the pool or in the hotel room while we're getting ready or anything like that. And last, oh no, not lastly. Oh, he's put some other things in here. Right, okay. We've got three cars. <laughs> My kids really like cars, so, oh. These are the three cars that he wanted to take with him so he can play on the plane. It's more Jamie that loves cars actually, so I was quite surprised that Rory went for these, but he doesn't like to miss out, so I'm guessing that's why he snuck those in there. Right, so lastly, if you guys watched a video of mine before when I went to Spain, you will have seen that we made this little noughts and crosses set. This is actually brilliant. So literally all we have is a Hessian bag, and if you open it up, we found 10 little stones and on five of them we wrote a zero and on the other five we put a cross and this is how they play their noughts and crosses when they are on the plane and once they finish with it pop everything back in the bag draw the string and it is super safe in here right so that's everything i have packed in their travel on bags i hope you guys found this interesting thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye